Hey everyone, it's Peter, the mechanic at Beach Bikes again. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to adjust front and rear brakes. Okay, so the first step is, that is very, very necessary that most people forget, is you really have to loosen the tension. So you don't want to adjust the brakes while there's any tension on the cable. You can undo this part. This is easy for getting the wheels out. If you have a flat, you can undo that. And you also want to take a 5mm Allen wrench and undo this cable here to loosen it. Now the next step is to adjust the brake pad itself. The setting that comes from the factory will almost never be the right positioning. Um, I would never use it. I would always want to loosen that up with your 5mm Allen wrench again. Get it completely loose. You want to push the lever up against the rim and make sure that the pad itself is parallel with the rim and is also the face of it is flush against the rim. You do that to both sides. And then we can come around to the handbrake while it's still loose, like this. And you'll find here on the handbrake there are two parts. There's the cable tensioner as well as the lock nut. They have slots in them that line up with a slot. By the handbrake you can pull the cable out like this. And this is so that you can route the cable in the most uh, aesthetic and also efficient way. Put it in like that and then adjust it so the slots don't match up so that the cable won't slip out again. And this also, if you need to do micro adjustments to the cable, can be used to uh, make it tighter or looser. But generally we don't want to use that if we don't have to. So then we come back to the brakes in the back. And you can go ahead and slip the little quick release apparatus together. Grab your five millimeter Allen wrench again. You're gonna to want to squeeze it in all the way and then back it off a little bit. Now this will take a little trial and error until you get the exact right tension on it. You want to check it with the handbrake. Give it a good squeeze like this and see if that feels like it's right for you. Okay, that feels good. Now we have one more step up here. This takes a Phillips and what this will do will even the tension between the two levers which are separate units and make sure that they are centered so that the wheel doesn't rub on either side. These are adjusted perfectly, but if one is weak, weaker than the other, you can use this screw right here. Going in actually pushes in on the spring that, that forces the lever over, I mean against the uh, cable. So you can adjust this either in to make this lever stronger or out to make it a little bit weaker. And you can give it a squeeze and it will even the brakes out for you so that it won't rub on the wheel. And that's all there is to it. When we go up to the front brakes. Exact same similar process. Okay, so with the front brake, the cable is not even attached in the handbrake. So we'll have to address that. And how you do that, it's very simple. Again, um, with both brakes and also with gears, you always want to loosen the cable. That's the first step. Okay? And this is nice and loose. We can go ahead over to the handbrake and line up the slots again in the tension nut and the lock nut. And here we'll find this tab here on the handbrake and you can slip the cable into that and into here and then just spin these away so that the slots don't line up. And then once again take your five millimeter Allen wrench down to the pads here and regardless of the setting that they come with you always want to go ahead and loosen them completely and then push the lever in and make sure the pad is nice and flat against the rim and also parallel with the circumference of the rim. And do it on both sides. You can see here I get it nice and loose. Go ahead and push that lever all the way in. And that will cause the pad to go flat against the rim and then also nice and parallel with its circumference. Now I'll go ahead and put the quick release in here while the cable is still loose. Actually, I'm going to route it this way. And then run it through the other lever. Cinch it up nice and tight and then back off a little bit from that. And then use your 5 millimeter that we've been using. Again, all you need is a 5 millimeter to do it for all these parts. Check with the hand lever whether that's the tension you want. This one wants to be a little bit closer, so I'll pull it in, make it a little tighter. 
And then on this one, this lever here appears to be a little bit stronger. It's pulling away from the wheel. You can tell it's rubbing on this side. So I want to go ahead and take my Phillips screwdriver. You get this screw right here. And I'm going to turn it right as though I'm tightening. That will push on the spring mechanism. And strengthen the spring on that. I'll give it a few squeezes. It's still not quite strong enough, so I can go over here and loosen this one, which will make the spring on this side effectively weaker. And when I squeeze the lever again, it should even out. That's perfect. Just like that. Now you're done. Hey everyone, it's Peter, the mechanic at Beach Bikes again. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to adjust front and rear brakes. Okay, so the first step is that is very, very necessary that most people forget is you really have to loosen the tension. So you don't want to adjust the brakes while there's any tension on the cable. You can undo this part. This is easy for getting the wheels out. If you have a flat, you can undo that. And you also want to take a 5 millimeter Allen wrench and undo this cable here to loosen it. Now the next step is to adjust the brake pad itself. The setting that comes from the factory will almost never be